Hello and welcome to the Omen Modular Exterminator Machine Event Guide. Machine events are in-game content that require a promoted dwarf present to activate. These can appear randomly in any normal mission. Today we will go over by far the most complex and lethal event of the four that are in the game currently, the Omen Modular Exterminator. Once again, the wiki's information is pretty light on this event, so hopefully we'll be going over more helpful information than the wiki has for you on this topic. So as I said before, this is by far the most lethal of the machine events in the game. It has a lot of rapid attacks that are hard to dodge and can kill you in a single hit, especially on the higher difficulties. So first of all, let's go over the general flow of the event. After pushing the fourth battery, the tower and all three of its modules will activate and start to attack your team. And this is the point where the 180 second timer will start and you are required to destroy the tower before it is over to succeed. To destroy the tower, a member of the team must stand on a maintenance access platform for a few seconds. This will reveal cores on each individual module. They are referred to as green glowy bits by the game, but let's call them cores because that's kind of a mouthful. So after a short time however, if you haven't destroyed all the cores, they will retract back into the module and you will be required to stand on the platform again. You repeat this process for each of the three segments and when the last is destroyed, the tower will be taken offline and you can infuse your cores. So I'll go ahead and let the rest of this clip play out and then we'll get into the individual modules and their effects. Alright, there was a lot going on there, so let's go over the individual modules and the threat they pose to you one by one. So starting from the base of the tower, which is also the only module that is consistent in every tower, we have the Radial Pulse Gun. This is by far the most deadly module for a few reasons. It layers the maintenance access platforms and plasma beams that can hit you multiple times. This will usually result in instant death on the higher difficulties. It also rotates erratically in a random pattern which can make it difficult to target with aim-based weapons. However, the saving grace of this module is that since it is low to the ground, it's quite easy to land throwing explosives on it, such as the driller's satchel charges. Now, the top two modules of the tower. These are randomly chosen from a pool of three possibilities. The first we'll go over is the drone replicator. This is the most dangerous of these three possibilities in my opinion. This module releases homing drones which will slowly fly towards dwarves with the intention of detonating on top of them. I consider this highly lethal as they blend into the dark easily and they move slowly so your eyes don't really pick up on them while battling the rest of the tower. They're easy to counter if you can see them, simply attack them with any weapon. They have a little bit of health, however be aware that they do explode even when shot down so if it's right on top of you, you might want to make some space before shooting it. Next on the descending list of lethality, the Heavy Burster. 
This module is simply a machine gun that slowly rotates around the tower and will shoot anyone who wanders into the spotlight. Not particularly difficult to avoid and only does a modest amount of damage, especially considering how fast you can clear out of its line of sight. Easy to counter the gun, don't stand in front of it. All jokes aside, the heavy burster shines a spotlight as its effective area, very bright and easy to see coming, simply step closer to the tower or rotate around it. And now for our final module, the Twin Slicer. And really, everybody give it up. This is the best module in the whole dang tower because this thing is a blessing to have, essentially just robbing the tower of a module with how easy it is to dispatch. But hey, let's be fair and acknowledge the little threat that it does carry. The Twin Slicer is a pair of laser beams on opposite sides of the tower from one another. They're capable of aiming in opposite directions as well, meaning that while one may be pointed down at the dwarves, the other may be pointlessly aiming at the ceiling or they can both aim at the ceiling at the same time, make it even more useless. All of this is not to even mention the extremely low damage the laser beam actually does. Unless you make an effort to stay in it, it will likely pass over your position before doing any significant damage. To top it off, this module only has two cores, making it even easier to destroy. So unless your scout is drunk spinning around on the roof of the cave, it's unlikely the slicer is going to take anyone's lunch money. Now that we know everything the tower can throw at us, let's look at the process step by step. Identically to every other machine event, to get it started, a promoted dwarf must insert their tritolite key into the core infuser. By simply aiming your laser at the tower, you can see what modules are in it before you even activate the event. This is extremely useful as you won't be caught off guard by what it throws at you. Like all machine events, insert all four batteries to start the event. While standing on a maintenance access platform, you can actually see which module you will be unlocking and the progress in doing so. Also worth noting is the area you're required to stand in is quite generous in its hitbox as well as the fact that jumping will not interrupt your process. Now to wrap things up, we'll go over some general tips to help you survive this event. First of all, as seen in that last clip, when standing on a maintenance access platform, you can see what module you're unlocking on the right, as well as the progress on the left side. Also, before you even start the event, you can aim your laser pointer at the tower to actually see what modules are in it. That way you're not taken off guard. And now for some more specific tips. For example, the gunner's shield can actually block the radial pulse gun shots. This is the most effective way to counter this module. And if you're feeling particularly wacky, you can even throw it over the module itself to stop all the lasers. Although, be advised, you won't be able to shoot into your shield, so this might not be the best idea.
And a less potent but still valid counter to the radial pulse gun is engineer platforms. By stacking three or four in front of each side, between the maintenance access platform and the gun, you can effectively block the first volley of lasers. Your platforms will be destroyed quickly, so keep that in mind. And the last piece of advice I have, it may seem obvious, but if you get all the cores exposed at the same time, that would be your opportunity to burn all AoEs on any class. So, engineer grenade launchers, driller satchel charges, gunner grenades, really just anything with a massive AoE is a perfect time to use it. So that's all I have for you today. I'd like to leave you with a Has 4 tower fight that goes basically perfectly, and this is really like the clockwork execution of this event. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's gonna shoot me in the face immediately.